Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out the performance of the Hydrocopper water block on EVGA's GTX 480 for the Win Edition graphics card. And here is the GTX 480 from EVGA. This is the for the Win Edition with the EVGA Hydrocopper water block that's been manufactured by Swift Tech. Now the coolant solution of water block on this graphics card is a hybrid type water block that comes in three primary type components. You have your water block itself, aluminum radiant heat fins for assisting in the car cooling, as well as a heat pipe solution for cooling the voltage regulators on this graphics card. So let's open up this water block and check out the flow pattern through this water block and the micro pin technology for cooling the GPU. The GTX 480 for the Win Edition water block isn't flow directional, so connections to either threaded port is acceptable. The coolant flow through the GTX 480 for the Win Edition water block is as follows. Fresh coolant enters the water block, travels through the top cap's flow channel, forced across the fine pin matrix that's dedicated to cooling the GPU, then exits the water block. The Hydrocopper water block cold plate is manufactured from electrolytic C110 copper and chrome plated for a corrosion resistant finish. You can also see the fine pin matrix, this is a 0.6 by 0.6 millimeter pin matrix as well as the heat pipe utilized for cooling the voltage regulators on this graphics card. The water block's top cap is 9mm thick, manufactured from Delrin, precision machined with both EVJ and Swiftec logos and held firmly in place with 13 stainless steel screws. The underside of the top cap has two flow channels, a blank plate, precision machined grooves for the sealing o-rings and a clamp-in chamber for the heat pipe. Now let's reassemble this water block, place it on the flow bench and test for the flow characteristics of the For The Win Edition water block. To measure the pressure drop or pressure differential across the water block's inlet and outlet, we're going to be using a Dwyer 490 series digital manometer. This precision instrument is industrial grade and accurate to within plus or minus 0.5%. And to measure the actual flow through the water block, we will be using a flow cat rotameter. This instrument is custom manufactured, built to order and accurate to within plus or minus 2% of full scale flow and 0.5% repeatability. Using these instruments, we will be able to identify or gauge exactly how restrictive the GTX 480 for the Win Edition water block is. With the flow testing concluded, let's mount this GPU in the test rig and check the thermal performance of this block in a comparison with a GTX 480 standard or stock air-cooled heatsink. In order to make a fair comparison, we're going to overclock the stock air-cooled GTX 480 to the For The Win settings and run both cards through the EVGA OC scanner benchmark for a total of one hour. Now let's test the For The Win Edition card stability. We're going to overclock this card to 875 MHz core, 2004 plus on the memory and again verify stability using OC scanner for one hour. After that we're going to run some benchmarks and identify this card's potential.
overall the GTX 480 for the win edition graphics card is an absolutely phenomenal product. It is currently the fastest, baddest GTX 480 available to date and guaranteed to make your head spin. However, the water block design is potentially an issue if you want to run this monster in SLI, 3-way SLI or record breaking quad configurations. The flow restriction on this water block is beyond phenomenal and way up there with the most restrictive CPU water blocks on the market. So, respect this card or the beast may just bite you back. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware.